It falls with the swiftness of lightning and severs the head from the body before the eyes have time to wink. The guillotine was a mechanical execution device that was designed for carrying out executions by beheading. It consisted of a tall wooden frame with a heavy, sharp blade suspended at the top. The condemned person would be secured on a platform with their neck placed in a lunette, a device that held their head in place. When the executioner released the blade, it would fall rapidly, severing the head from the body in a single, swift motion. The guillotine was named after Dr. Joseph Ignace Guillotin, a French physician and politician who did not invent the device but advocated for its use as a more humane and efficient method of execution during the French Revolution. It was known for its speed and precision, resulting in a near-instantaneous death, and was used extensively during the Reign of Terror in the late 18th century in France. The guillotine became a symbol of equality in death, as it treated all individuals, regardless of their social status, the same way. It was a prominent and public method of execution during its time and was used not only in France but also in other countries, including Belgium and Germany. Our story begins in late 18th century France, a time of upheaval, revolution, and a thirst for equality. Dr. Joseph Ignace Gillet, a French physician, found himself in the midst of a pivotal moment in history. Dr. Guillotin did not invent the guillotine, but his name would forever be intertwined with it. He was deeply troubled by the cruel and inconsistent execution methods of his era, which ranged from the sword and the axe to more primitive devices. Dr. Guillotin proposed a radical idea in the French National Assembly, a mechanical device with a heavy, weighted blade that could fall swiftly, ensuring a quick and less painful death. His vision was not just about efficiency, but about humaneness. The story of the guillotine was set into motion, as experts like French engineer Tobias Schmidt and physician Antoine Louis brought this concept to life. The guillotine story unfolded with each mechanical innovation. The basic design featured a wooden frame that held the condemned, with a heavy, sharp blade poised above. The executioner released the blade, which swiftly severed the head from the body. While the design was simple, its efficiency was unmatched. The diagonal blade, which replaced the straight-edged one, allowed for cleaner and quicker beheadings. The introduction of the lunette, a device to secure the condemned's head, further improved accuracy. As the guillotine's design evolved, it was poised to make history during the French Revolution. The reign of terror marked the guillotine's ascent to infamy. Thousands met their end beneath its remorseless blade, making it one of the most chilling chapters in the story of execution. Prominent figures like King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette faced this mechanical monster, and their public executions served as grim spectacles that struck fear into the hearts of the masses. The story of the guillotine was no longer confined to a courtroom. It became a symbol of revolutionary justice and a potent tool of political control. One of the most fascinating aspects of the guillotine story is its role as a symbol of equality. The French Revolution, with its cries for liberty, egalite, fraternite, found a stark embodiment in this execution device. The guillotine treated all individuals the same way, regardless of their social status or past crimes. In death, they were equals. This story of equality in death resonated deeply with the revolutionary ideals. The guillotine story extended beyond the borders of France. As word of its efficiency, and supposed humane qualities spread, it was adopted by other countries, including Belgium and Germany. The straightforward design, combined with the precision of the diagonal blade and the security of the lunette, made it an attractive choice for some justice systems. The guillotine, once a French invention, now had an international presence in the grim world of executions. The story of the guillotine took an unexpected turn as countries around the world sought more humane methods of execution. Its final chapter in France unfolded in 1977 when Hamida Jandabai was executed by guillotine. This marked the end of its use in the country. The guillotine, which had once dominated the execution landscape, was now considered archaic and inhumane. The guillotine story is more than a tale of mechanics and cold efficiency. It's a story of humanity's evolving values and the quest for justice. It remains a powerful symbol of history, politics, and the ongoing debate over the ethics of capital punishment. In the shadow of the guillotine's blade, we find reflections of society's quest for equality, its embrace of innovation, and its desire for a more humane world. This is a story that captivates not just because of its gruesome mechanics but because of the profound impact it had on the world. It was a story that unfolded in the light of day, in the public squares of France, as a reminder of the ever-present balance between justice and mercy. The guillotine's story, while long retired from the world's execution chambers, continues to haunt the collective memory of humanity. It is a testament to the evolution of our values, a stark reminder of the dark moments in our history, and a symbol of the enduring debate over the ethics of capital punishment. As we look back at the story of the guillotine, 
we are faced with an unrelenting question. What does our fascination with this chilling device say about us? The guillotine story is not just a historical narrative. It is a reflection of our own humanity, with all its complexities, contradictions, and evolving sensibilities. Here are top 10 interesting facts about the guillotine. 1. Dr. Guillotine's Misleading Association While Dr. Joseph Ignis Guillotine's name is synonymous with the guillotine, he was not the inventor. Instead, he advocated for a less painful and more efficient method of execution during the French Revolution. 2. The Blade of Swiftness The guillotine was engineered for rapid, near-instantaneous beheadings. The heavy blade fell swiftly, ensuring a quick end, distinguishing it from earlier, less efficient execution methods. 3. Equality in Death The guillotine symbolized the French Revolution's principle of equality, as it treated all individuals equally, regardless of their social status, when it came to facing the ultimate consequence. 4. Ingenious Innovations Over time, the guillotine's design saw various innovations. These included the use of diagonal blades and the introduction of lunettes, which secured the condemned's head, ensuring cleaner and more precise beheadings. 5. Beyond French borders, the guillotine wasn't confined to France. Other countries, including Belgium and Germany, adopted this efficient execution method, applying it in their own justice systems. 6. The Reign of Terror's Grim Legacy The Reign of Terror during the French Revolution marked the height of the guillotine's infamy. It saw the execution of thousands, among them notable figures like King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette, making it a harrowing chapter in history. 7. Public Spectacle Guillotine executions were often public spectacles. Crowds gathered to witness the grim proceedings, which were designed to serve as a deterrent to potential wrongdoers. 8. 1977 The End in France The guillotine's final execution in France took place in 1977 when Hamada Jandabai met his fate. This marked the end of its use in the country, as more modern execution methods took its place.